Smoke fills the sky. In the end, parts of France's biggest migrant camp, known as the jungle, were not so much dismantled as burned to the ground. For hours, firefighters fought the blaze, and that left the jungle looking like this. Once the fire was tamed, those who still call it home, its children, were allowed back in, much to the anger of the humanitarian workers. The problem that we have is that the only people really left here now are the unaccompanied children um, because some of them have been processed and put back in the containers. Some of them did not get processed today and actually just got sent back to the camp, which is very worrying, so we don't know where they're going to sleep tonight. Tonight, one of the most potent symbols of Europe's migrant crisis lies in smoky ruins. But there are those who fear that it could come back. And it isn't just those who protect the migrants that are worried, but also local authorities. They point out that Calais has simply been the victim and for years now of a policy failure that lies on the other side of the channel. The British government says it refuses to welcome migrants, but we know they keep crossing the border. And when they arrive, the British government let them into Great Britain, and it is hypocritical. CNN is trying to get through to the British Home Office to get their response. In the meantime, the mayor of Calais says her main worry is the 1,500 migrants who will sleep tonight in the charred remains of their former home.